this one more time no offense to previous housemates from previous seasons of the big brother ninja show but you see this lockdown housemates guys these people are a bunch of creatives innovatives sensible people like guys these people are so freaking amazing they're so freaking awesome guys today was one of the best four days that these people have spent in biggie's house hands down and guys watch to the end of this video as i share with you guys all that went down this morning in day four of the big brother ninja lockdown house let's start so these housemates woke up in high spirits today guys i still don't know the reason for it maybe their diary session yesterday contributed to them waking up in high spirits but today everybody woke up feeling really really good about themselves they did not even wear their best way jerseys and outfits they even went ahead to play dress up so most of them wore their bestest outfits they also put on their goggles they were looking great absolutely fabulous most of them were even putting on beautiful gowns you know giving each other compliments and that was when they all together went to the garden except for Tolani Badge and Lilo and also Lei Kong who were playing catch up inside the house and then later they joined the rest of the housemates in the garden so whilst they were at the garden they started saying a lot of things suggesting activities to do not to keep themselves bored right and that was when they decided to mimic each other and praise started by mimicking the rest of the housemates which was really really fun to watch because most of these housemates did not even realize that the things that he was showing that that's how they actually were walk or talk or behave you know so it was really really fun to watch and then guys Lacon gave us some drop lines hot rap lines which was really really cool and whilst Lacon was rapping something interesting happened now guys remember I told you guys that whilst Lacon was having his first diary session he requested of Biggie to give him at least one minute or 30 seconds to drop lines whenever he is having his diary session and Biggie told him that let's have that conversation later so biggest surprise Lacon today but before I get to that part Lacon was asked by the housemates oh Lacon give us wisdom give us some wisdom because they call him the Aristotle of the house and so Lacon was dropping some lines really amazing lines which I really admire because in my head this guy is a very serious businessman using this opportunity to show his talent and whilst he was doing that it seems like Katrina got the memo and immediately Katrina ran inside the house and came back out with some pajamas and that was when Katrina let us know that during the double wahala season guys if you watch that season of Big Brother Niger show that was season three you would see that there was a time in the house that one of the vendors gave CC a party outfit now CC did not like the outfit so what did she do she used that scissors and redesigned the outfit like she really really tore it and redesigned it to suit her body frame and now the people that gave her the outfit they were not happy with her and they did not like the fact that she did what she did so next time they did not give her an outfit right and so they had a pajama party in the house so this is where Katrina comes in Katrina let us know today that the pajamas that CC wore in that party in the house was from her pajamas collection I'm like what no guys so it was really really interesting because she really marketed herself at that point in time she was like guys this is my pajamas collection no this is my clothes tiana did not give um cc an outfit so this was my clothes the organizers of the show they were looking out for people designers that were going to give out clothes to cc and then i gave her my clothes you know and then one person in the group said that wow this is really amazing that you volunteered to give out your did i say out sorry guys it's out so the person said that you volunteered to give out one of your clothes to one of the housemates in the house and now 2020 you are in the house you know so guys there's something beautiful about karma you do good you get good you do bad you get bad mm -hmm. that's what happened you know but guys what i love about the fact um from what katrina said is that she saw and identified the fact that Lacon was at every point in time selling himself selling the fact that he could sing he could rap you know and selling his wisdom and his open-mindedness as well you know so she also channeled herself into that opportunity to also market her clothing line guys i was really interested i was really really excited for katrina and i really recommend that she was very very quick to thinking and capturing the opportunity because as i yesterday monday tuesday i was really really upset because I, I felt like this girl 
every time they ask you what you're coming to do in Biggie's house, you're always crying, foul tears, and telling people that I want to sell the Katrina brand. I want to sell myself. What the hell is Katrina brand? Anyways, guys, we did not know what that was, you know, all this while. But today, she was able to show us and explain to us what the Katrina brand is all about. Now, that said, guys, something else interesting happened. After Katrina sold her brand to us, yeah, the housemate decided to play karaoke. And that was when Lacon rapped. Um, Kaisha, guys, I am so freaking impressed with Kaisha. Like, look at what this girl did. Guys, do you know that, of course, Kaisha has been letting us know all along that she can sing, she likes to sing, blah, blah, blah. And then today, guys, Kaisha single-handedly created off her head a theme song for Big Brother Ninja 2020 housemates. Like guys, the song sounded so good. You know, it sounded so good. And guys, I felt really emotional because while she was singing the chorus, she taught the rest of the housemates the chorus and also Tochi came to drop some hot rap lines, you know? So it made the song beautiful, if there's anything like that, but it made the song more beautiful. And guys, one significance of Kaisha doing that for me is the fact that as I, yesterday in the diary room, Kaisha was crying to Biggie, saying that the housemates were not nice, the housemates were fake, the housemates were this and that, there was just so much tension 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 in the house Pwah! village people putting grammatical blunders in my mouth you know so she was saying that there was just so much tension in the house you know but today this morning it was all about good vibes it was beautiful and so for the fact that she was able to bounce back on her self-confidence by teaching the housemates a song that she single-handedly created for herself guys i must commend kaisha's comeback i said yes girl go this is it this is what you should do you know stop showing these people that you're feeling inferior or stop being intimidated and stop being a pushover you know so for the fact that she was able to teach them that theme song guys i was so impressed and i was so excited for this girl and i'm like yes hopefully if the organizers of the show decides to take that song that she has taught the housemates then it's going to be something of you know something of greatness just put it that way and then guys um, Neo sang, gosh guys, what was Neo singing? Neo was just singing horribly, yes, but <laughs> at that point I just told myself, Neo, it is not your calling to come and sing, so please don't even bother, you know? But then he sang, the other housemates, they also responded, who again, Erica and Prince did a duet, Dorothy and also Lacon, they also did a sort of a duet, Prince sang, and he also danced as well, and then Katrina danced, my god, Katrina was twerking the hell, like, she was just twerking, guys. Katrina was twerking and it was so good to watch and guys what's his name Tricky T Tricky T was done shocked he was just looking at her like this <laughs> guys it was just so funny it was just so funny and what else happened guys I think Eric sang and V also sang she sang Duduke and guys the highlight of this morning was when Biggie played Lacon song yes oh my god guys Biggie played Lacon song and from the beginning of the song they were like who is this and Lacon was like who is Lacon this is Lacon Lacon was like this is my song guys you need to see the way the rest of the housemates they were screaming they were hyping Lacon so much they even carried him one of them even carried him up on their shoulder and they were just hailing him and Lacon was like if I say this say that you know like guys they were singing and hyping Lacon's song like they've known Lacon and his song from day zero I'm like guys this is the energy this is the vibe that we are looking out for on the show yes guys i understand this is week one so um people might be saying that and eh, they're gonna change oh of course i am one of those people that's also saying that oh the housemates are gonna change they're gonna start bring, bringing bad vibes negative energy i understand but come on guys this is week one this is the time for the housemates to bond this is the time for the housemates to also get to know each other be each other's biggest hype man be, be each other's support system but guys i did not expect 
that this lockdown housemates they are going to be so freaking amazing to one another i mean it's so beautiful to watch it's so encouraging as well to watch guys and all the housemates i don't understand i feel like this morning's um this morning's happiness and fun it just sort of made them all bond together and guys do you know what really happened later oh my god new um not new ozo sang the story lanes i want to put you in 70, 70 positions 70 minutes. guys i don't even know the song <laughs> but the song is so sweet the way he sang it because that's one of his favorite songs he sang the song that Katrina was a video vixen and she was giving him a lap dance guys it was so much fun i was just literally in my room screaming if you want to see me screaming if you want to see my reaction more of my reactions to today's episode right follow me on twitter at fswglory and you will see all my reactions in all of my tweets you can just, just search for me francis speaking with glory elijah on twitter and you will see my handle and you will see all my reactions and even more information about what i just shared in this video and then later on guys biggie played a beautiful song for them and they were all dancing they were all vibing they were all having fun guys it was so good they really had a lot of fun but one person was not really having a lot of fun and that person was um kid wire i mean i felt so sorry for him according to him he swallowed a bone i think a chicken bone and then it bruised his throat you know and so it stopped him from eating he could not have his breakfast this morning he he took um strep seals but according to him he needs medical attention so thankfully biggie was able to give him medical attention and um, he's being well taken care of you know but aside that the vibe in the house has been super super amazing right now the housemates are in a good place they are really excited but guys something is about to happen today and that is the task remember yesterday biggie gave the housemates a task to create hand sanitizers and face masks and so guys today is also the day for the housemates to take their quiz on get to know each other so since on monday the housemates have been getting to know each other asking each other questions and stuff like that so tonight guys this task that they're going to have is going to also be in form of a wager although there is no penalty yet for them if they lose the wager but then let us see how it goes let's see how well these housemates know each other i'm gonna bring you guys more gist in another video i hope you really enjoyed this one if you are yet to subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for if you always want to receive a lot of my videos turn on post notification click on the um white bell button beside the red subscribe button to always receive a lot of my videos and if you're wondering why my hair is looking so fly and why my head gear my head scarf is looking so beautiful guys this is from my vintage collection i've told you guys before that i sell vintage scarves so this is just one of my vintage scarves and it goes for only three thousand naira only so if you want to get this send me a dm on instagram on my personal instagram or follow my vintage scarf um um instagram account it's called the vintage hub underscore ng that's it guys have an amazing afternoon bye